The North American, Central American, and the Caribbean Athletics Association's Championships, NACAC, concluded over the weekend in Nassau, Bahamas. Some of these standout performances were from home girl Shawnee Mira Weaver, who capped off her season with gold in the 400 meters in 49.40, finishing ahead of Barbados' Shade Williams and Jamaica's Stephanie Ann McPherson. World 200 meters champion Sherika Jackson set a new championship record of 10.83 seconds in the 100 meters. Her countryman, Akeem Blake, took gold in the men's equivalent in 9.98 seconds, lowering the old championship record of 10.03 set by Taekwondo Tracy four years ago. Another Jamaican, Andrew Hudson, produced a massive personal best, 19.87 seconds, to land gold in the men's 200 meters. Meanwhile, the BVI's Kyron McMaster lowered his 2018 championship record in the men's 400 meters hurdles to 47.34. The Elephant won Dominica's first ever NACAC gold, taking the women's triple jump with 14.49 meters. That was her best leap. Travis Michael beat countryman Frederick Dakers for gold in the men's discus with a best throw of 62.89 meters. Leighton Levy is with us in studio. Leighton, those are the standard performances from NACAC. Those were the quantitative uh, performances. Qualitatively, uh, what did you see? Yeah, I thought it was, well, for the championships on a whole, I thought, notwithstanding the absence of some of the world's best athletes from the area, because as you know, the United States, bulk of your athletes, the bulk of Jamaica's athletes weren't there. Trinidad as well, Car um, Jerry Richards wasn't there. But we saw some really outstanding performances across the board. And while the winning standards in some of the instances weren't world class, the performances generally were, I think, it made it quite interesting and actually quite entertaining from my perspective as a, as a purist but for the average track and field fan i think they would have found a lot of entertainment there as well well the the, the place i'm going to start is 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 the men's 200 meters with the, the the performance of andrew hudson because jerry richards apart we don't we're not uprooting trees in the caribbean in the 200 meters for men these days so it's very exciting when someone comes and catches the eye with a flashy time 1987 for andrew Hudson. absolutely i mean when you consider that this was a young gentleman who was upset that he was not able to make the world championships team because of the you know his transfer of allegiance wasn't completed until the 28th of july you know, he's proving here that he would have been a worthy contender for Jamaica. I mean, the time, in terms of time, he would have been fifth at Worlds, but he would have been in the finals, mm -hmm. certainly. And what I saw from him um, on Sunday was suggests that he has a lot more speed in him. He's 25 years old, and he's progressively improved over the last few years, ever since he was at Texas Tech. And I was very, very happy from a Jamaican perspective to see that since um, Usain Bolt and Johan Blake and the Warren Wears, that Jamaica was a legitimate 200 meter runner because as you alluded to, to since 2017, Jamaica hasn't really produced anything in terms of a quality 200 meter runner. Yeah, you know, the other place to go to, obvious place is the women's 100 meters because I got the distinct impression, even though she is rather, you could describe her in a word, Sherika Jackson, as being phlegmatic, almost undemonstrative, unemotional. She's like a machine. She goes and she performs and she leaves, you know, no uh, celebrations. No, she's not trying to let you into her bubbly personality because she's saying that that's for my friends and my family. This is business. But Leighton, Lance, we've reached a stage now in the women's 100 meters where an athlete can run 10.83 to win. And be disappointed like with the time. I, I am looking at Cherry and like she was saying, 1083. Yeah, well, get, that, that, that's a level look. that women's 100 <laughs> meter sprinting is. 1083 is. Yeah. Uh, when you run 1071 and 1073 and 1076, 1082 is a pedestrian time. And given what we expect and what Cherry expects from herself, because I think she's actually on the cusp of running 106. Um, and of course, looking to run that 106 later on this week in Lausanne, I think she probably would have been disappointed. She said she was working on a couple of phases of her race, her start, for example. And, but when I watched the race, I got the impression that after she got the start that she wanted and she put herself in control of the race, she didn't really press the gas, so to speak, because she knew she had the, the feel. The, tenor, the, the, the previous record was 1096 by Jenna Prandini. That was something that Sherika runs in her sleep. She almost got the record in, her, in, the, in the heats in 10, 1098. So I think this was like a a precursor to what we can mm. possibly expect in Lausanne against the Shelley and Fraser Price and company later on this week. Because I think working on the start, which was pretty good in the final, 
I think she overall she would be happy at the performance, if not the time. Mm. Um, Shawnee Miller Weibo, her 400 meter win was a championship record as well. Uh, reporting after the race that that was her season ender. Mm -hmm. The narrative that she's been presenting that she's leaving the 400 and and going basically to do with the 200 is it something we should take seriously Absol is she serious about absolutely. it absolutely i mean I, I when i spoke to her on on point already on point last year mm -hmm. she said that she wants to she, well at the time she said she wanted to break the world record for the 400 but because the organizer of the media championships refused to adjust the schedule to yes. accommodate her the 200 has always been her favorite event she says and 2174 tells you that she has a lot of potential to be even faster because she has not done the work to be to prepare for the 200 or work is for the 400. Um, and I think what we've seen from her this year is pretty much telling us that this is it. Um, everything points to the fact that 20, 2022 is probably the last time we'll see Shawnee Miller run at 400 meters because she's been there, done that. Two Olympic titles, a world title, 48, 36. What else is there for her to do? The World Cup is, I think, beyond the reach of anybody else out there right now, and she's not, going to, she's not interested in chasing it anymore to take on her, her favorite event, which is the 200. And it only adds depth to that event because, as we see, there's a lot of quality in the 200 now, so she sees that as a new challenge. Mm -hmm. Sherika Jackson, 21.45, you have a bunch of women running 21.6s and 21.7s. Mm -hmm. This is probably where she wants to go now because she does not have any challenges left at the 400 meters level, considering that um, Salwa Adnasir is coming back next year um, from a two-year suspension. Other than her, who else is there to challenge her? Mm. And of course, she has been having clashes with Sherika Jackson since her Karifta days. Yep. Yeah, I mean, she was the first person to beat Sherika Jackson at Karifta. I mean, yes. you know, Sherika was dominating at Karifta for the years, under, seven, under 17 and on a on the 19 at the time. On the 18. She, oh, yeah. And, then the she, yeah, yeah. and then she came and, and beat Cherik. And except for, was it last year or the year before, was the first time when Cherik beat her since that time, in a decade. So mm -hmm. the challenge is there for her. And I think when you look at somebody who's accomplished as much as Shawnee Miller Weaver has, mm -hmm. this is probably a new challenge. You know, can she get back to the level where yeah. she'll be able to beat Cherik, which means that she'd probably have to challenge mm -hmm. the world record to do that. Mm -hmm. you know, so I think, you know, I think we've seen the last of her. And you know, mm -hmm. it would have been a great career if she ends it right now anyway. Yeah. So, you know. And, and we're, we're closing this segment just quickly before we go. We know the USA and Jamaica dominated the medals, but a couple of Eastern Caribbean gold medals for the BVI's Kyron McMaster and Tia Lafont from Dominica. Listen, tears almost came to my eyes when I saw Kyron's time, 47.34, which is pretty close to his personal best of 47.08. He's had his challenges this year, hamstring issues, you know, motivation issues from last year. But to come back and win a Commonwealth title and, of course, to win a knockout title and run up a season's best, 47-3, which is one of the fastest times in the world this year, I'm sure mm -hmm. that he would go into any end, the end of the season a lot happier than he would have been starting the season. Because I think he's bounced back really well. And, of course, Thea Lafond, she's been consistent, one of the best triple jumpers in the world this year. And for her to win Dominica's first goal at the knockout championship is a significant accomplishment and worthy of the talent of the athlete. Yeah, bonanza for Dominica, the bonanza provided by that woman, Thea Fund. That's it for this segment. Back with more interactive after the break.